Welcome to Hanif Bismi Show. This episode will bring you two prominent personalities. Miss Daniela Whitby and Mr. Maivan Hanifi. Welcome to Hanif Bismi Show and thank you for coming to F Five News Australia studio. Thank you. Thank you. My Ability Care is a vibrant and committed news service spanning over 20 years of combined experience in disability sector. And um, we have um, Daniela and Maimanth. Maimanth is um, co-founder and CEO of Ability Care. He's a civil engineer and now he's um, CEO of My Ability Care, taking care of disability sector. And uh, Miss Daniel, uh, Daniela Bitpi has a long, um, vast experience in the aged and disability sector and a certificate trainer both in mental health and disability. She has a certificate in four in disability, aged care and community service. Once again, welcome Maivan and Daniel. Thank you. So my co first question um, is, uh, please tell um, to Mr. Anifi, Please tell about the success story of your organization, My Ability Care. Our success story with um, My Ability Care started um, off with um, our partners, co-partners, um, Java, Juned, Gazelle, Mazarin. So we sat down one day and um, came up with the whole My Ability Care. Um, and then from there we um, went on. Um, started opening up services, um, doing drop-in supports. Um, yeah, it just began from there. And, and especially when, uh, because you got an engineering background, mm -hmm. and this contrast, totally mm -hmm. contrasts uh, kind of um, work you're doing. So, what yeah. that inspired you to change into your career? <coughs> so, I studied um, civil engineering, and th th you know how the background, the cultural background is, where mm -hmm. the families, when you're born, they either want you to be a doctor or an engineer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I understand that. <laughs> so I did that for the engineering side. I did it for my parents. Mm -hmm. And then um, I bumped into the disability sector. And then nothing made me turn back. And I fell in love with the whole disability. Um, and then I went and pursued um, organizational leadership, mm -hmm. bachelor's. Mm -hmm. um, and then now I'm trying to um, start to do my master's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you you going to do your masters in uh, this same um, subject? In the, in the same same field, subject, which yeah. is great. My next two question is uh, to Daniela. What is the driving force behind your choice to work in disability sector? Um, and you are very motivated in when I met you in the yes, I am very motivated with so disabilities. So, what was the inspiration? Um, I started off working in aged care, so mm. um, I got very attached to the aged care um, clients at the nursing home, and whatnot. But I found they were passing away from me, on me, and um, I ended up putting people in body bags as a living, mm. which was very devastating for me. Mm -hmm. So, I decided to change to uh, disabilities, mm -hmm. where I get to empower people and give them choice and control over their life and help them mm -hmm. reach their full potential, um, and became an advocate. So in 2014, I got the Pride of Workmanship Award from the Rotary Club of Carlingford mm -hmm. um, for my um, outstanding advocacy skills because I just find uh, I've just got a great passion for helping out people with disabilities. They appreciate everything, and it's just worth every moment. So, so that's self um, work satisfaction. Job it's very satisfaction. much work satisfaction. Yep, so and, and personal satisfaction right, as okay. well. I do because find personal satisfaction out of it. And you feel that you're doing something for people who really, really need. Yes, yes. Um, everybody just needs a little bit of a hand. Mm -hmm. um, and so giving somebody a hand and seeing them reach their goals is just the best feeling. So, oh, that's yep. great. Th thank you. My next question with, uh, um, to Mr. Hanifi. Yes. Uh, with your qualification, civil engineering and changing it to... So what is um, further your um, aim for to take the my ability care? And the further... The, the further aim for... As you, are, you already said, you're going to do the master the degree in this. And what is your uh, goal? For my ability care, the goal is, is to build a service that, that has quality mm -hmm. and that never fades away. Mm -hmm. uh, because we don't believe in quantity. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe in quality. Mm -hmm. And to have quality, 
that's what stands out more. Mm -hmm. And I think the most important thing for us is, is, is to look after our staff. That's what's our priority. That's what comes first in my ability to care, to look out after our staff, because they're the ones that, that push the service. So your service uh, provide um, at, um, the clients or, um, home or? Yeah, so we, we've got like group homes mm -hmm. uh, where we've got staff there for 24 hour support. Okay. Um, that does all the um, supports for them. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got drop-in supports also that they go to their own houses, um, staff pick them up and take them to their appointments and all that perspective. Um, and you, as you know, we also have the clinical sector too. Mm -hmm. Where you know our clinical team will do the whole uh, biz plan and all that. So you you look after both the uh, physical disability and mental disability. Yes. Well, that's a big challenge, and yeah. uh, and uh, we got the clinical support as well. Yes. Yes. So you provide um, my ability care provide a total care for people who ne really need in disability and mental disability sector, yes. both physical and mental disability sector. Yes. That include clinical support and other personal support as well. Yes. So which is uh, and available 24 hours. Yes. So that's a, that's a message from Honey Vis Me Show that my ability care is take care totally to your need. You need a, a, um, care. And my second, next question to um, Daniela is, how Australia is compared to other developed countries? in disabilities and age care services? Uh, yeah, I did look into this last night. Yeah, okay. um, basically, um, the other developed countries have not got the benefits that Australia do have. Australia has the NDIS. What the, is NDIS? Uh, National Disability Insurance okay. Scheme. Okay. So that's funded by the government. Mm -hmm. um, that assists people with all physical um, and mental health disabilities mm -hmm. to live the best life they can. So that gives them choice and control over the services that they, they receive and who provides those services. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where my ability care comes in, that they actually work alongside with the NDIS. So the NDIS fund um, my ability care to give support and services to people in their own home. So that means that my ability care will have a group home staff 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, they will help them with cooking, cleaning, daily life skills. Um, uh, take them shopping, go to doctor's appointments, um, medications, like you name it, whatever needs uh, need to be met, um, and that's all on an individual basis. So okay. it's tailored to the individual. Mm. Um, Nobody is the same. Um, in this world, we're all different and we're unique people, mm -hmm. um, and we treat everybody as a different and unique person. So it's tailored to whatever that person actually needs. Um, so in the regards to developed countries, mm. um, other developed countries and Australia, Australia is just... I have to say the best country when it comes down to um, supports for people with disabilities um, and mental health. There are some other countries that do have um, payments and stuff like that, oh, but I don't believe they have the same scheme like the National Disability Insurance Scheme mm -hmm. to be able to take care of um, uh, participants. So uh, um, in, uh, when it comes to disability, Australia is a pilot country and yes. it's the best service to the client. Yes. And um, yeah. you are my ability care so your service is tailored to the each individual's need. That include cooking, cleaning, doctor appointment, yep. clinical and personal, or all other service, which is a great service and um, my ability. Um, that's why the, that's why the, in a short time period, my ability care became more um, significantly successful story. That's what um, when I um, check into it. When it comes down to my ability care, I think yeah. the difference between my ability care and other mm -hmm. organisations, which Maybond actually did touch on, mm -hmm. is we're about quality, not quantity. Yep. So it's about um, empowering your staff to make sure that they have the skills and the training to be able to support mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. clients mm -hmm. um, in their needs and stuff like that. So in a way of supporting our staff mm -hmm. um, and giving them the training, the support and emotional and... Um, yeah, both emotional. Yep, yep. yep uh, or any support that they need then they're fully equipped to be able to um, support our clients. So that's where we do take care of our staff first. You empower your staff, your staff empower your clients, and it's just a roll-on effect so after it's, that. So it's like a two-way yeah. service. Like, you know, you, you look after your staff, staff look after the yes. client. Yeah. And it's all about the quality service for both um, physical and mental disability people. And Australia is one of the best as um, Daniela said, and we are living in a best country and uh, you yeah. can utilize my ability care. And my last question to both of you, you can answer. 
<coughs> do you have any particular message to the community and to Honey With Me show audience? Um, me, um, personally, I believe, um, leave a legacy um, that great so that generations can follow on. What I mean by that is a le leave a legacy of character so the generations can you know, follow on and that's what we do at um, My Ability Care. Um, with myself, um, I believe in equality and inclusion for everybody. So if you see somebody out there that needs a helping hand, don't hesitate to help um, and, and you know, give them a hand up. Um, so at My Ability Care, our, our motto is um, your choice, your future, because at the end of the day, it is your choice and your future. Um, and we are here to provide supports to help you out. So, yeah. And um, thank you once again, um, both Maya and Daniel, and on behalf of... Um, Hanif Bismi Show and Five News Australia. We will we thank you for coming all the way and spending your time. And uh, once again to my audience, my ability care look after disabled uh, mentally and physically, and their service is one of the best. And they focus on quality service rather than quantity. Mm -hmm. So if you need contact my ability care.